Commissioner Underhill. Thanks. Um, sure, it won't surprise anybody. My position on this matter really hasn't changed <laughs> a whole lot over time. Um, before we send our delegation a request, we should be cognizant of the lay of land in, in Tallahassee. Uh, there's a significant difference of ideas about the appropriateness of taxpayer-funded economic development in the State House, um, and that difference of opinions is not divided down uh, typical party lines. Uh, there are folks on both sides um, of, this, of the uh, political aisle that have very serious concerns about the, uh, the appropriateness and the productivity of this kind of economic development. We should not be sending our junior delegation to the Capitol this year with contentious items, but with items that will instead build unity within our delegation and also empower our delegation to be able to bring home wins for the county. Um, so specifically, uh, the concerns that I have about what's in front of us. Commissioner Unhill? Yeah, go ahead. I, I know you're talking about, do you mind if I ask Mr. Luther a question? In Absolutely. To, Scott, have you spoken with the delegation about this? Have you kind of briefed them, uh, Re Representative Hill and Andrade? And if you have, can you? We've had a conversation with, uh, with, with Alex Andrade, uh, Representative Andrade. He's the one that would be uh, willing to sponsor the bill. Uh, he's, what he's looking for now is, 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 a, is an approved draft from the city and the county. Um, to then, to then understand that document, um, to be able to take it forward. So, in 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 in, in respect to what Commissioner Underhill just said, uh, does, does it seem have we kind of done our due diligence with our delegation? And you seem to say that they're supportive. You'd say Alex and Mike are going to be supportive. Again, Alex yeah. willing to support it. We, we've got the meeting that they finally scheduled on Monday morning, or I mean Monday evening. Um, so we'll definitely be having those conversations between now and then. But it makes it difficult to have a conversation with them until we know what the document or what the changes are. But they're anticipating but it, they are, uh, that it's coming, and you, yeah, you would I, say that Senator Broxton say, and say Alex. Alex is, is uh, he's anticipating us as a follow-up to, to have that conversation with him, and then we'll also be reaching out to our other two delegation members to make sure that they have a clear understanding of what the, docu of what the approved city-county document would be. Okay. I just wanted to make sure our delegation was aware that I would correct. hate for them to get something and no one has even briefed them and it was unexpected. That's correct. Thank you for allowing me to uh, interrupt Commissioner Underhill. Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. So you do not have a commitment for a unified message from our delegation on this matter. Is that correct? At this time, we do not. Um, okay, thank again, you. But the, Monday um, night, that's when they have so that again, to decide that. one of the great concerns that I have is, as we, as you all know, um, that things that go before go to Tallahassee without a unified commitment from the delegation uh, affected is um, is generally not a good way to get to yes. Um, so well worth noting that there is not a unified commitment among the, uh, the members of our delegation. So let me run through the document real quick on my concerns. Obviously, the ongoing funding issue on uh, paragraph 1, line 5 is a problem. I think that even actually having the word funding in there is a problem. I would think that funding options would be an op uh, acceptable um, because that more clearly defines that it is this board's responsibility uh, to determine that. Um, as you know, I'm a very avid lobbyist in Tallahassee for home rule and in opposition of state preemption. I won't ever muddy my position on that by asking for a state preemption. Um, and I, I, so I'm, I'm very cautious about anything uh, that, that looks like that. Uh, section 4, um, you know, this is the one obviously that's gotten quite a bit of airtime on uh, social media um, and in, in you know, discussions throughout the community. Um, the decisions regarding the use of Escambia tax dollars should be limited to, limited to Escambians only. I have a great many non-resident owners in Perdido Key um, who, while they are a significant equity holder in our community, they are not citizens of this county. There is no status that is on par with a citizen. Uh, the status of citizen is unique and is without peer. Um, I cannot support any action that confers citizen-level rights on a non-citizen. The Floribama is one of the largest employers and tax remitters in my district. The owner is an honorable guy, a great guy, and an incredible philanthropist. Um, he, he started a church in the bar, for goodness sake, okay? But he's an Alabama resident, and he is without, he does not have, and there's nothing that he can do short of moving to Florida that gives him a standing on par with a Floridian here in Escambia County uh, with regard to how we spend Florida tax dollars. Section 4.5, uh, Florida West uh, being in a position of appointing members of the board that oversees them, I think that creates a circuitous uh, uh, level of responsibility 
cycle, and I think that's inappropriate. I disapprove with the removal of the chamber from the membership selection. There are actions apart on the part of the PEDC that have at times been at odds with the equities of our local small businesses. Small businesses in my community over the last year um, have fussing, been fussing quite a bit about using their taxpayer dollars to uh, to create jobs when they don't when they've got help wanted signs hanging in their um, in their windows as it is. Commissioner so, on Hill. Yep, go ahead. I, I know you won't lose your spots, but you're, you're making some points that kind of intrigue me. S Scott, another question. Have we talked to Clay Ingram in the chamber? Are they supportive of these changes? Um, I'm, uh, and I know they really don't have any input now. I mean, but is, I mean, but Clay is an advocate for our business community. Yeah, we've, Have we talked to Clay? We, we've had a conversation with Clay over the years, even when he was a uh, you know, state legislator himself. Um, you know, at one point in time, we had, you know, we'd had some conversations about changing language uh, multiple years ago. Um, I'd have to go back and remember what the reason was. We postponed that. Uh, but again, you know, he has been supportive in the past, and, and my understanding and conversations with, with Todd, they'd be supportive of this change as well. I don't know if Clay or Todd's here, but I mean that would be important to me, Scott, uh, that the chamber will support it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Todd's in the back. Is Todd in the back? Do you mind, Commissioner Underhill? No, no, no. I mean because you're asking questions, I think that it, you deserve to have the answers to. Uh, Todd. Yeah, Todd Thompson, Vice President of Public Affairs at the chamber. Uh, I was not a privy to those conversations between Scott and Clay. I can tell you that our board has not discussed this and taken a position, uh, so I don't want to make a statement one way or the other. Hmm. Uh, sorry, Mr. Chairman. You said, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, Todd, I, I think part of these changes are is that this used to fall under the chamber and and that was uh, removed a number of years ago and and to stick with that consistency uh, would you agree with that I, statement? I, I understand the the desire for the cleanup I, I just don't want to say that we've taken a position sure there. I understand but you don't anticipate any problem that the chamber would have an adverse position or I like I said we have a discussion but I haven't heard anything negative all right I'll turn it back over to Commissioner Underhill I mean, and, and Scott, I would just love to get confirmation. I mean, this is well, this is a board meeting; it's not a committee of the whole. I would love if someone could talk to Clay, you know, before we get to the end of this vote to, today. Commissioner Neal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so, for myself, I do not. Um, I mean, I I do not believe that government creates jobs. Government creates an environment in which the private sector creates jobs. The job creators of my district are the small business owners. Um, and so I tend to look uh, and expect to see guidance from them with regard to things in the economic development range. Um, you know, they come to me about the, uh, the impediments to economic development, the impediments to their growth. Um, so not only, I mean, while certainly the, uh, the combined Florida Chamber is one of the, or combined Escambia County Chamber is a, is a heck of an organization, I think very highly of, of Todd, I would also expect that, I mean, you know, the Perdido Key Chamber of Commerce is an extremely important uh, part of the equation for me, and uh, I haven't, I, I, I would expect our small business owners here who are taxpayers, who are citizens, to have a voice in how we develop the, or do the things that we do that develop the economy um, that will have an impact on them. So um, I would, I would ex I'd much prefer to see uh, changes along that, uh, that item. Now, finally, and that really kind of covers what's, What's in here, um, you know, those are, uh, I think, just about all of those are kind of catastrophic fails for my vote, but I don't think that's coming as a surprise to anybody. Um, the staffing, and finally, I want to say that the staffing on this issue is, is last minute and sketchy. Um, for us to have this level of questions and have, I've got this copy and that copy and this, that, and the other uh, at this late day, uh, at a time when our delegates are, in fact, in Tallahassee receiving their appointments, um, that is the very definition of, of trying to paint a leadership uh, body into a corner. Um, when you paint me into a corner, you create a, a, a no vote. Um, so it, this is something that if this was important enough to do, we should have been working on this throughout the summer. Um, I should have had people coming to my office and explaining to me what you were trying to do um, and what we were trying to accomplish um, so that we could have created those those kinds of, uh, of dialogues where what change what would the impact of that change be on small business owners in my district and things along those lines so 